Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Your 340. I'm Seth Gaston. And I'm Sharon Shavasta. Starting us off today. Next Tuesday, we will have a table set up during all lunches to pass out free raffle tickets for our upcoming 340 live show. The winner of the raffle will win the contents of the box. Make sure to check out our raffle and the live stream on Thursday, March 30th. The American Sign Language students are proud to present the second annual ASL Day Expo to celebrate National ASL Day at FHS. This event will take place April 13th all day in the library. Our goal is to educate our community about deaf culture, history, and literature. Come join us in learning about ASL and the opportunity to win gift cards. Are you interested in auditioning for the Fishers dance team next season? Come to the call-out meeting on March 29th at 6 p.m. in the LGI room to learn about their team and their upcoming auditions on April 25th to the 27th. Follow at Fishers dance team on social media for updates and to register for auditions. Are you interested in sports but won't be on the field this spring? Are you working on a career in broadcasting? Or would you just like to get into a variety of Fisher sports events for free? The Fisher Sport Network is having a spring call-up meeting in Mr. Kennedy's room today in room H21. Epson is a great opportunity for anyone regardless of experience. They need on-air announcers, camera operators, and producers. So contact Mr. Kennedy if you have any questions. On this day in history, it is considered World Theater Day. It was first created by the International Theater Institution in 1961. It is a worldwide celebration that is hosted every year on March 27th. It had just celebrated its 60th anniversary last year. The day is spent celebrating the importance of musical arts and talents. Hey guys, welcome back to the list. With spring break coming up, I like to be sipping on Starbucks either at home or on the beach. So today we're going to be ranking my favorite Starbucks drinks. At number five, we have an ice white chocolate mocha. At number four, I have a vanilla blonde ice latte. At number three is a java chip frappuccino. At number two, I have the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. And at number one, my favorite Starbucks drink is a strawberry acai refresher, specifically with two bumps of raspberry made with water. If you don't like waiting in lines, what is the best month to go to Disney World? A. February B. March C. July Or D. September Answer is A. February Hi, today we're going to go over the top 5 shows to binge over spring break. After many failed attempts of video game adaptations, The Last of Us is one of the few to beat the cycle. It has excellent casting, well-driven emotional plot points, and a whole lot of zombies. I highly recommend a watch as well as a playthrough of the game. Being one of the most watched shows of all time, Yellowstone, it takes a look onto the modernized cowboy with a very dramatic story. It's a show that will always have you coming back to watch no matter what happens. One of the most seducing shows I've ever watched, White Lotus. What happens when you get a group of crazy rich people in a hotel? This show answers that question. The production has some of the best cinematography I've seen. This helps captivate the absolute absurdity of the characters in the show and what they will do to get what they want. While you're sitting at home wondering what the nice sandy beaches all your friends are on are like, you could be watching the blood-drenched beaches of Band of Brothers in the Pacific. The number two spot is taken by two shows of which are the greatest ever shown on screen. Both depict the lives and troubles of soldiers in World War II in both Europe and the Pacific Islands. Each show is based off true stories which only amplifies what is seen on screen. This is an absolute must-watch and one of the most finest shows ever created. At the number one spot is one of my personal favorites, Reno 911. In a documentary-like style, it depicts the foolishness and absurdity of a group of police officers. A show that goes all over the place and all out. It isn't just an enjoyable show, and numerous times it had me laughing to the point where I couldn't breathe. And that's your 340.